You're in the mix with JC Flix. How are you all doing today? Welcome to the channel. And today, I got some news that is going to make your jaw drop. Now, today we'll be discussing Mickey Mouse with a twist. Batman 2 and Damon Leone returns with Art the Clown for Terrifier 3. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about the announcement. I mean, it came out of nowhere like a, like a jump scare in a dark hallway. I mean, Mickey Mouse, this friendly icon we all grew up loving, is about to show a side we've never seen before. I mean, who saw this coming? So here's what we know about Mickey Mouse, the live action horror movie so far. First off, what we know is Jamie Bailey will be the one directing this film. Can't lie, this worries me a little bit. I don't know much about Jamie Bailey, besides the fact that one of his most recent films in 2022, D Influencer only received a 4.2 out of 10 on IMBD. Eh. So my question for you guys is, can he pull it off? Or will this be another letdown like Winnie the Pooh, Button Honey? Now, don't get mad at me for saying this. Now I know, I know there are some people that did like it, but I know that a large audience of people also did not. For a number of reasons, including the, the makeup and the costumes, the storyline and the actual graphics of the film. And I understand, I myself felt like I was let down by the film. So I feel largely that redemption is needed. So you guys are probably wondering, how are all of these creators making all these disgusting graphic horror-like pictures of the Mickey Mouse, the friendly Mickey Mouse we grew up to love? Well, here's the answer. Steamboat Willie, the 1928 comedy, one of the originals of Mickey Mouse has become a public domain meaning pretty much it's copyright free, allowing all content creators to create pretty much whatever stories they like of Mickey Mouse. So far, what I've seen recorded already is a Mickey Mouse horror game, a Mickey Mouse horror TV show that I believe was rumored, and a Mickey Mouse horror movie, and many more movies they've actually been planning. Now, what else could be in store for Mickey Mouse? I mean, they have already turned his character into this horror, horror villain. I mean, what else can be in store? So guys, drop down your predictions, drop down your expectations, tell me what you guys think of this new Mickey Mouse era. And let's get into the next movie. All right, next up, we have Batman 2. Now, Batman 1, I believe, was an absolute cinematic masterclass, was an incredible movie, especially for three hours, being able to keep my attention for three hours. <laughs> applause. Now, Robert Pattinson was i say was a, quite a shock to a lot of people to play Batman. I don't think many people knew whether he'd be good, whether he'd be bad. A lot of us knew him from his role in Twilight as Edward. Now, he was quite a serious character, so I already had some sort of idea that he would be able to play that serious role that, uh, that Bruce usually does. Um, so when I saw him in the cinema, I'm sure he surprised a lot of us. He did amazing. He, be, he was a great Batman in his own unique way. Now... Batman 2 has been set for release, and let's get into these updates. Now, Batman 2 is set to be released 3rd of October 2025. Now, yes, I know that it's, that must be disappointing to a lot of you, but due to the writer's strike, that is why the set release date is so late. So, yeah. Matt Reeves is actually working on a script with Matt and Tomlin, and they have signed a large deal with DC Studios to create and develop, wait for it, the Batverse, that is incredible. The Batverse, and they have already signed up, um, signed for shows such as Penguin and an Arkham Asylum show. I mean, we are getting spin-offs already. Spin-offs, Penguin and an Arkham Asylum show. That's incredible. We are getting the Batverse. Wow. Now, there was previous speculation of who was going to be the new big bad, the new villain in Batman 2. So, there were rumors, right? There were rumors of Professor Pig, Hush, uh, Scarecrow, Scarface, and someone just straight up asked, asked James Gunn, said, hey, so what's the deal? Are th is this true? And James Gunn said, nope, totally made up. So there goes that. Because I thought, I was thinking, I had my hopes up. I was like, whoa, this would be so sick. Had any of these, Professor Pig, bruh, oh, that'd be dope. But James Gunn, unfortunately, has said no. There were also speculations of Robin 
making a return. And I don't know if that was also after James Gunn or if that is a separate rumor or I don't know. But what would you guys like to see? Would you guys like to see Robin make a special appearance in Batman 2? In my opinion, I would love, me and my brother were talking, we would love to see Robin make an appearance in the final final scenes of the movie to leave us hanging on our seats. Make us crave to see Batman 3. Make us want to see the next one. I think that'd be a smart move from DC. And I've heard around the street, around the block, around the country, that there is a possible return for Penguin. I'd love me some Penguin. I think Penguin is one of the best villains in the DC universe. And I would love to see him make a return in Batman 2 to play a bigger and more evil role. Who do you guys think the new big bad is going to be for Batman 2? Obviously, we have the Riddler continuing on into Batman 2. We'll see what, what, what role he, he comprises of. Um, but yeah, let me know who you guys think the new big bad is going to be. Last but not least, we have Terrifier 3. Damien Leone returning with the gruesome and horrifying art, The Clown, for, hear me out, a Christmas movie. Yes, you heard that right, a Christmas movie. As a lot of people saw, uh, Terrifier 2 got re-released into the cinema. And at the end, people saw a teaser for Terrifier 3. A little girl woke up on a Christmas morning, walking down the stairs, ready to open her gifts, enjoy her day, but yet was shook to her core. Her life was already over before she knew it as Art the Clown, dressed as Santa Claus, was under her tree, giving out gifts. And then that is when it cut to a scene of blood splattered absolutely everywhere. Art the Clown with his demonic smile, eating some cookies and milk. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right. It was some cookies and milk. So you're all probably wondering, when is the movie coming out? Well, they have said the set release date is 25th of October, 2024. So this year, thank goodness. They have stated that we are currently in pre-production, which is great, and they are set for filming in February this year. Terrifier has become a huge success in the horror industry. The Art the Clown has become a cult classic. Everyone loves Art the Clown. Now, it is all quite inspiring actually, as Terrifier 1 only started off with a budget of $35,000. Comparing it to Terrifier 3, we are in the low six to seven figures of a budget. That is insane. In fact, Terrifier was so good that Damien Leone was an independent filmmaker. Hollywood has come to him to try and buy and film Terrifier 3. Unfortunately, Hollywood has tried to bulk the film, try to make it more family friendly, and Damon Leone didn't let that slide, and I respect him for that. Damon Leone is a G. So we are going to still be seeing the gory, horrifying, disgusting kills that we all love and want to see from Art the Clown. In fact, they said the first five pages of Damien Leone's Terrifier 3 was so gruesome, so toe-curling disgusting that it just wasn't going to work out. And Damien Leone was fine with that because Damien Leone sticks to his path of making the gory, disgusting classics we all want to see. That only makes us wonder, how crazy is this movie going to be? Let me guys know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys thought of the first and second movie. Let me know which one was your favorite. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's JC Flicks. You're in the mix. Thank you. Take care.